Kelly Stafford on the road to recovery following her brain tumor battle. Tonight, Kelly and Matthew have a special message to Detroit. Detroit has its love for, for its athletes in a way that is unlike other towns and it can be good and bad, but in this case, everything that was coming in, it was just, it was pretty remarkable. Yeah, the Lions quarterback and his wife Kelly can sometimes have a contentious relationship with fans. That, of course, always depends on how things play out on, on the Sunday. field on uh -huh. and Sunday, right? <laughs> Indeed, but uh, when Kelly faced a medical crisis, Detroiters did what they always do. They stepped up, and as we've been telling you, Kelly was diagnosed with a brain tumor, underwent a 12-hour surgery, and is well on her way to a full recovery. Let's bring Hank Winchester back in again, and uh, they really feel like they owe uh, a debt of gratitude to Detroiters for helping carry them through this. Yeah, they certainly do. I mean, Detroiters really stepped up. That's not a shock. You know, we expect yeah, exactly. that. That's what Detroiters do. Uh, people were even sending me care packages here to the station to pass them along to Kelly and Matthew. The love and support definitely helped Kelly keep a positive attitude, especially during some of those more challenging days. Being the face of the Detroit Lions, the quarterback of the hometown team can be tough at times. Every fan has an opinion, and sometimes all that noise can be hard for the family behind the headlines to ignore. For these 11 years, it's been tough for me to really, really fall in love with the city because I just feel like they don't really like us. Matthew has an incredible ability to block out the negative, the comments, the criticism, and really just focus on the game. But it can be harder for his wife, Kelly, and sometimes she's taken to social media to defend her husband and the team that he loves. Detroiters can be a little tough on their athletes yeah. from time to time, but at the end of the day, it, it, to me, it's shown that there is actually like good in the world yeah. because there was so much love for her. Yeah, no question. Um, there was a ton of outpouring of, you know, just support. Um, I shook our referee's hand last night and he asked me how she was doing, you know, for the, for the game. So uh, the people all over the place are always asking. Um, I appreciate those people asking and, and thinking about her. Early on, Kelly shared news of her brain tumor battle on Instagram, and fans followed along every step of the way. But it was a simple trip to training camp that created a moment she will never forget. I remember calling my mom. Um, I went to training camp one day, but I remember calling my mom after because I walked out of training camp, and there was a group of probably like 10 or 12 women with their daughters, and they all had um, Kelly Stafford strong signs and just wanted to say I've been praying for you. I've, we've been thinking about you, you know. I have talked poorly about this place because of how I feel sometimes that they treat my husband, yeah. the people in this place. And I called her, I was like, I, I feel terrible that I've ever talked or resented this place. The fans who can be tough also have big hearts and when they knew the Staffords were struggling, they were there. To read people's letters about how they've gone through it, or how they've had someone go through it, and they're all stamped from the state of Michigan. Almost every single one we received in that facility was from somebody in the state of Michigan. Um, it really, it really was unbelievable for me to, to feel so loved by everyone here. What we Detroiters know is love, and we're fiercely protective of the people who call this city home. For 11 years, the Staffords have called Metro Detroit their home. They've seen the city hit rock bottom. They've seen plenty of changes in the Lions locker room. They've also now seen a different side to many of their fans. Yes, they still want that win on Sunday, but more importantly, they want to make sure the beloved quarterback and his wife are healthy, happy, and safe at home. And I, I really don't think if we were in Atlanta, if we were in another city, I don't think it would have been that way. I really don't. Wow. Yeah, it's interesting yeah. there. It's, you have to think about being Kelly and Matthew. And uh, when that paper comes out on Monday or when you hear sure. the, yeah. the, the, the radio folks talking about that game, if it's a, if a challenging game, it, it can be hard to listen to that commentary and those fans. But this situation. Well, four and a half million coaches in Southeast Michigan right? who have it figured out. Exactly. Every, every fan's got it sure. figured out. But yeah. this situation was an opportunity for them to really feel that love. And what's been interesting yeah. is if you're out with them, it was always people wanting to come to Matthew to have a picture or to ask about a game. Now it's 
Kelly, how are you? Too, We've been thinking yeah. about you, praying yeah. for you. It's it's been nice to That's see. Sweet. And we appreciate her being so candid too, and yeah. everything, and yeah. sharing her story and yeah. about the doctor. And we know you've got a lot more coming from them from your time that you spent. Yeah, we staff. do. In fact, a lot of it is online right now. Click on Detroit.com. We posted a lot of exclusive content, including Kelly's message to women, the role reversal between Kelly and Matthew when she went through this brain tumor battle. You know, the quarterback suddenly becoming the caretaker. Uh, you can find all those stories and much more by clicking the link right at the top of the homepage. Again, click on Detroit.com. Really it's been very right, good. All right, thank you.